Hey everyone, I'm Joseph. And I'm David. And we just watched... Game of Thrones Season 7. Episode 4. Wow. Spoils of War. Yeah. He didn't like it. Mm-mm. Not at all. Let's talk about it. Let's do it. Alright everyone, so we're talking Game of Thrones Season 7, Episode 4. Oh shit moment. Number one being... The cave. The cave. Oh, and of course, Dragonstone. Yeah. I mean, it... I mean, it was. I mean, we, we saw the mountain of dragon glass. We saw what everyone's talking about. We saw what's gonna save us, or so we think. You know, I mean, it, it was really cool to see Danny and John go in there, and I'll let yeah. you take it from here because I I'll, I won't stop. So, please. Uh, well, I mean, it, seeing the dragon glass looked dope, and then of course, more important but as equally important is the you know the. The cave drawings by the children of the forest, and then he's like, "Well, they," uh, she's like, "Were they here fighting?" He's like, "No, they were here, you know, fighting the common enemy, aka Night King." And then I was like, "See a little bit of a tension growing between the two, and yeah, and 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 another thing, and I hate to cut you off. Mm-hmm. Another thing was the the spiral shape. We've seen That's that was, yeah. everywhere. I mean, I have no idea what it means. If 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 you don't think that's important, we'll just stop watching." Yeah, because I mean it's it's in every season. Like, yeah, I mean if you don't if if you don't if you don't think that's important, then you know what? Hey, Walter White was a good guy the whole time. He doesn't know. I don't know. <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> moving on. Um, yeah, so that that's our oh shit moment kind oh, of. And also, Daenerys, Danny saying, you know what? I will fight for you. I will you. help you. But of course, you have to bend the knee. And I was like, bro, bend the knee, dog. Pull out the ring and bend the knee. That's that's what she means, right? Here's the thing, though. Who says he didn't? Because she said bend the knee. We cut and they're walking out. Touche. We don't know if he did yet. We could find out next episode. She's be like, yeah, what's up? This is my, this is, this is my boo thing now. <laughs> There's only three episodes left. We have yeah. this Sunday and then two more Sundays. So hmm, Convenient. Yeah. <laughs> very convenient. Look at that. Very You're convenient. fucking genius over here. Hey, you know what? The only reason I know is because the week after football season starts. That's if they don't postpone it. Anyways, before we digress anymore... Oh shit moment numero dos. Brandon Littlefinger. And what it means, like what it entails. And I mean, you explained it to me because I didn't catch it right away because I'm retarded apparently. Go ahead. Well, yeah, I think it was two two seasons ago. I could be wrong. Uh, maybe three seasons ago. But uh, Varys and uh, Littlefinger were having a conversation. And basically what happened is uh, Varys was doing his Varys thing, uh, all that. And Littlefinger said, hey, chaos is a ladder. And then homeboy, and then Robo, Robo Brand, Robo Brand with the wheelchair and all that good stuff, says it back to him. And I was wondering because I didn't catch it right away, and I was like, why? Why is Baelish? Why is that face? That's a face he gets only rare. He's like, oh shit. And he explained it, and then I was like, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It yeah, all hey. makes sense now. Oh. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, it was, it was great. You know. I mean, you can't, can't. I mean, that was it was a subtle thing. But it, it, it did everything you need to do. Because Bran's over here not telling no one anything except that, yeah, I was there the whole time watching you do this, watching you do that, by throwing little, you know, little sparking memories, phrases and stuff. And, and of course, we see the dagger. Yeah, yeah. The cat's paw? Is that what it is? Cat's paw? Something like that? Something yeah. Like that. It's, it's Valyrian steel. It's awesome. And it's funny that we go from that to our number three oh shit moment. Yo. Oh, my God. Ah. <sighs> Brienne the Beauty versus a uh, girl is it? no one. No, bro, against uh, basically Lyanna Stark. <laughs> yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah. Arya Stark, aka no one. No one. You know. Plus uh, the beat, yo. I'm not gonna lie though. It's funny because they're going at it, and then you see when Brienne's is like, "Hell no!" Nah, and then she Sparta kicked the crap out of Arya. <laughs> and then Arya got mad. Then Arya was like, "Nah, she did one of these mentally." Oh man, and, and it was great when she came up and she's like, you know, I'll, I'll get the the man at arms to fight. He's like, he didn't beat the hound. I'm like, oh, I want you to train. I want you, y'all. Yeah. And right off the back, she's like, doo, 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 and just I was like, oh, like, oh and you know, Padre goes in the corner like, fuck yeah, Padre, finally. Padre's like, she been whooping my ass for two seasons. Yeah, I know. I've been getting beat down forever. Finally, Jesus. <laughs> I, yeah. Everybody gets so different responses. He says that. And, and then Tormund's like, you're such a lucky man. Yeah, Tormund's just like, <laughs> yeah, she can beat me down anytime. <laughs> it's, it's, it's the truth. He said, you're such a lucky yes. man. 
And you can see it in his face. He's just like, mm, yeah. he meant that. He yeah. so meant that. And uh, at the beginning of this, when she's like, oh, nice dagger, Arya just pulls it out and starts flipping it. And I was like, calm down, killer. Literally, kill it. Literally, kill it. Yeah. Uh, so that was beautiful to watch. And, and more importantly, the fact that we see Sansa and Baelish watching from above. And then Sansa's really like, she's not joking about this listing. She's a killer. She's not joking about killing Cersei. She's le- she's legit. Yeah, I mean, she really is. And that's and, not my little sister anymore. No, that is a train killer. Exactly. At my disposal. Exactly. Ooh. I was like, hey, yo, is Baelish on your list? If not, throw it on there, bro. Do, do Please. me a favor. Honorable mention. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, at least he's called Little Finger. Cut him off or something. Just, like, just make him call him One Finger. Just, yeah. Just cut him all off and give leave him one. Yeah. You know. You know. Do him like Davos. <laughs> Anyways, guys. Oh shit! Moment number. Three. Oh, we're on four, brother. That's what I said. Four. <laughs> you didn't see it? I did this. Four. I yeah, did, yeah, he yeah, did. He I, did. I, I, he yeah. Did. And if he didn't, I was like, <laughs> I got I got yeah, him. I got we, him. I got we, him. We did Bruce Almighty <laughs> Seven Fingers thing. Yeah, I didn't see Y'all just didn't see it. Y'all just didn't see it. Um, the fourth though shit moment is uh, the Masandi conversation with, yeah, uh, and with Davos and John. And what it leads to. Talking about good hearts. Yeah. You know, she said, you know, we, you know, uh, she she freed us from slavery and Davos like so you serve her now so you're and she's like no 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 nah she's like we and it's funny because she's like we chose her to be queen I'm like they chose John to be king okay whatever y'all basically the same and then talk about how he's a bastard and she does they Naris doesn't have that she, and, she has she has no idea what that means yeah and, and Davos is like interesting concept yeah he's like I like that <laughs> yeah and, and, would you forgive me if I switch sides <laughs> yeah because I mean he's he's bouty he's like. Hey, let me go. Let me go make some non bastards. Yeah, let me, let me, let me, let me lay it down real quick. Yeah, I mean, hey, let me half finger this. Mm. <laughs> wow. And this just got R rated. <laughs> I mean, at least it's HBO, so it's. It, it, no, I meant this. No, I. Oh yeah. <laughs> and then, guys. Yeah. <laughs> and of course, we see the 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 great joy shit. Oh, the great joy, you know. Uh, and I'm a little disappointed because I wanted John. T- I didn't. I knew he wasn't gonna kill him because he saved Sansa. However, I expected him to walk up on him and just right in the face, knock him down, and then be like, "The only reason I'm not killing you right now is because of what you did for Sansa." That might be the first moment I think I've seen John almost be savage. John is always real. Metal. Like he's real controlled. Best way you could put it. Very controlled and like, okay, no, no, no. There's a plan. We're gonna do it this way. We're gonna do it this way. This time he was like, nah, bro. He was like, come on, yeah. come here, bro. You know what you did. Yeah. I know what you did. Mm. But because you did this as well, I'm not doing this. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, and, and, and so many words. Yeah. yeah Reek <laughs> saved his own butt by saving Sansa's. Yeah, because that's who that is. That's not Theon anymore. That's straight up Reek. Yeah, and you know what? He was Theon for two episodes, and we were we were like, good. It's like, the cool, guy we love on, to hate. Come on, Theon, you're you're kind of you're coming back, and then he cowered, and we're like, oh, yeah. Reek's back, everybody. Yeah. Yeah, no one cares. Yeah. And like our previous reviews, you know, it, what the fuck did Ramsey do to him? I mean, we, we saw what he did to him. Yeah, man. I know, but, but I mean, God, that's the mental anguish that, right here, yeah. yo. Like for real, like bad, like bad. You know. Uh, a uh, little backtrack. I thought it was really um, the Masandi conversation was very interesting, just because she she seems a little more grown up. She seems a little more like Masandi. Yeah, like like Tyrion is hand of the king. She she has that. But she's like it. Like it's like like she's it's the left hand. She's the left. Yes. Hand. Yeah. It, it's one of those where you know like Daenerys is like I'll I'll tell Tyrion eighty percent of stuff and I'll tell you Masandi hundred percent of stuff. everything. I mean, they even had that girls' moment, uh, of course, backtracking when they're walking down the steps. She's like, "What happened? What happened?" And then John shows up, and she's like, "This isn't over. I need to know." I saw a great meme about that, but we're gonna we're gonna push forward. Oh. It was hilarious, <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> but anyways, and guys, if you can't guess, our our oh shit. number five moment of oh shitness. You didn't watch this episode, yeah. Nor are you a fan, yeah. Because our number five episode is uh, our number five oh shit moment is uh, Cersei in the Iron Bank. That's exactly what it is. <laughs> Actually, it's it really is, guys. I don't know. You thought it was that? It has nothing to do with that. Guy. It has nothing to do with the Field of Fire two point I don't know what you're talking about. No, no, what is, no that no, happened? Yeah, I, I I must have missed it. Yeah, I I gotta go rewatch it. I've seen yeah. it three times. I have not seen that once. Yeah, slacking. I missed twenty five minutes. Twenty five minutes of an yeah. hour show. Damn. <laughs> but yes, 
Our number five oh shit moment is Drogon and the Dothraki. The Lord. Dothraki. It's it's AKA as coined by my friend here. Field of Fire 2.0. It's 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 basically what it is. Yeah, it's, and it was amazing. It I mean, was amazing. It was a uh, funny thing. It was the shortest episode of the season, and now we know why because they had to pay for all that yeah, shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. There was a lot of that, so there was a, a less of this. <laughs> Dragons aren't cheap. No, and that's why they only use one. People are like, why don't they use all three? I'm like, bro, calm down. I mean, we're HBO. We got money, but not that. No, we got we don't got three dragons at the same time. Money. We're not Disney. All right, calm down, killers. <laughs> like one dragon was obviously enough for this episode. I'm excited to see all three. In future scenarios, all right? But I mean, I, okay. Other than seeing Drowan wreck shop, one of my favorite parts was actually seeing the Dothraki because we've never really seen them fight. So now they're living up to the name. Jo- I almost lost my shit. Oh, I, no, bullshit! I lost my shit when they jump on the horses, and I was like, "Oh, horses in mid stride!" Yeah, like they didn't stop and go horse. No, they're freaking riding them, standing up like a skateboard, and then hopping off and slattering <laughs> Lannisters like so. He <laughs> said, "Oh, horse." Yeah, he's like, oh, of course. No. <laughs> so he comes, he's riding, he's, he, boom, like, yeah. ooh. I was like, oh. and the funny thing is, they didn't need Drogon. No. Drogon was, and it was funny, Drogon was simply there just be like, don't forget, I have this. Just in case you forgot. I got one of these. Huh, my bad. Huh, I have three of these. Two at home. Come at me, bruh. That's what it was. That's, I think the reason she didn't take all three was, look what I can do with one. Uh, taking Drogon, the biggest, the baddest of the three, was basically her to flex. She was like, like, like you know what? I've been taking L's, and this L's are going to stop because I've listened to my council. My council would tell me, don't use the dragons. Don't use the dragons. But you know what? I'm using the dragons. Even though she didn't use it on King's Landing. Like, that's what that was basically, they're just, don't do it there. You do it over here. Though. That was basically her Arya moment. So whoever survived... Go back and tell Cersei what I can do. Exactly. You know what? You know when she was flying Drogon and just burning everybody? I pictured American Psycho, Christian Bell in the mirror just getting it. <laughs> Great moment. That's what I, Yeah. That was her moment of just, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Great moment. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> and know. two of my favorite characters, Jamie and Bron, never wanted them to die. In this, in this episode, I was like, I hope they fucking burn. <laughs> well, no, no, no. You didn't want them to die after season two. Yeah, okay, yeah, rephrase, rephrase. <laughs> because after Jamie, that, in the, season yeah. one, season two? Yeah, you're, yeah, season one, when he was like, what I do for love, you're like, oh, he needs to die. Or when, when he attacked Ned. And you, he needs to die. Yeah, that and guy's got to go. And then after that, you're like, oh, shit. Yeah, I, I like him a little yeah, bit. Him, him and Brienne's a good couple. Yeah, Not as good as her in uh, Tormund. 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 That makes some big babies. Ooh, scary. Some, some giant... Uh, NBA size. Yeah, just... <laughs> let me one ones, bro. <laughs> <Yeah>. uh, <laughs> But no, guys. I, I, I mean that that was one of my. It, it's up there. I don't know how to how else to say it. I really uh, enjoyed it, that. It's Red Wedding, Hard Home, ba- Battle, Battle of the Bastards. Bastards. It's it's in that. Yeah. It's Top. in yeah. It's because because oh, you throw Hard Home in there. Oh, yeah. Just because. We'll be. Oh, I'm I mean, sorry. Damn. Yeah. Just just hit me in the face. Yeah. Thing. Jesus, man. <laughs> No, well, if you but, saw our, you saw our blooper video, he knocked me out. So I'm just trying to get him yeah. back for that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, guys, have you seen Heart? Heart home. <laughs> yeah. God, damn. Oh, I don't oh. remember that in the episode. Sorry about that. <laughs> but I mean, yeah, you got you got one of the coolest moments of Game of Thrones ever when he's just simply just come at me, bro. What's up, bitch? Yeah. What you got? So I'm interested to see that. There's a couple things like I mentioned. We didn't go to Old Town. We didn't see. We didn't see a lot. It was. It was like boom, boom, boom. Battle. We saw. What we came to see, and that was yeah. Daenerys' flex. Yeah, it was beautiful, it was wonderful, super happy. I could see that every episode and just love it. Every yeah, it, it was great. It was great. Okay. So, so, honorable mention. Honorable mentions. Honorable mentions. Um, we did allude to the uh, the yeah, Cersei yeah. Uh, Iron Bank, and when she mentioned the Gold Company, for all you book readers, you know exactly about the Gold Company. You know, a bunch of sell swords. The uh, you know a Targaryen bastard leads them. They've been around forever. All they do is fight and kill. And if Cersei, whose army just got pretty much obliterated, out, yeah. needs a new army, mm-hmm. and who better than someone who you would love to see, the Dothraki? Because I really think the Unsullied's going to starve themselves and die before and be half when they get yeah, back. Yeah, they're going to go from 8,000 to like maybe 2,000 yeah, by the time so, they get back. So the Unsullied really is a non-factor. So it's going to be the Dothraki. And if she can ever get people from Dorne or what, you know, all that stuff. Yeah. So it's basically a Dothraki versus the Gold Company. Book readers, that is great. That is great. You know, just just 
just hearing the Thraki Gold Company, and if you know who we're talking about, just, mm, that's a battle. That's See, a battle. The thing is though, I, I gotta. It's a thought. Is you know because we know well now I know the Gold Company is this you know just badass warriors. It's all they do. And what if we get a, another field of fire moment where she literally just <sighs> there's your Gold Company or your Gold Bastards, whatever they're called. They're, they're now let the wind blow and watch their ashes be go away. You know, and then I'm full of shit again. Yeah. Oh, and we did forget the scorpion giant bow and arrow crossbow thing. Kind of worked, but not really, because I did not expect it to move the way it did. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Cause <laughs> when you first see it, it looks very solid and it's just gonna shoot straight. Real and, clunky. Yeah, and, and it, it takes forever. Oh, this is yeah, like a he swivel, popped it up. Man. He was like, <laughs> I was like, oh my god. I was like, is, did did George R. R. Martin just like write in like something from today? Like, did we like Back to the Future this time? Yeah, like, I mean, wow. Like that, that, and he was moving it like it was nothing. Yeah, he was <laughs> on a swivel. Yeah, he was. It, yeah. It was effective, but he I don't think he hit where he wanted to hit. Yeah, well, I mean, if you get a direct hit to, like, the skull, I think that's it. Yeah, yeah. But I feel like a direct hit to the chest, I think it wouldn't penetrate. I think, it, w- all the... I think it would because it's so much bigger uh, because the little ones were... Yeah, but I mean, but you see how much, like, it wasn't even scale. It was, like, actual, like, bone or, like, it looked... His chest. He looks great. He just looks great. But, um, you know, that, um, I'm interested to see what they do with that. But also now that we, well, we, that Daenerys knows that they have something in the works, how to. That's where it comes to our last video. Now you bring Drogon in the front, bring, uh, the other two. Damn, it's <sighs> fucked up. We could know the names right off the back. Uh, you know, green and orange through the back and just. Hey, whoa. Drogon, green and orange. All right. That's, yeah, that's, that's <laughs> it. That's it. What are you talking about? Isn't that their names? I thought it was. I thought, yeah, yeah. Um. Guys, tell us the names, by the way. <laughs> yeah, please, you know. please be nice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, we're gonna get a lot of people. I thought you guys were fans. Yeah. Oh, whoa, whoa, we are. Hey, we, and and now we're at five subscribers again. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. YouTube's gotta close our account. Yeah. <laughs> guys, but I mean, episode was great. I really enjoyed it. I mean, like I said in the last uh, review, every episode becomes my new favorite. And one more honorable mention. One more. <laughs> How does the water work? In <laughs> in Westeros because Jamie was riding on running on the beach and the horse was fine, he gets knocked off and he is plummeting to his utter death. So how how Some, deep is it? Or or does it not gradually go down? Does it just fall it, it's, off? It's just like beachfront and and then, then it's like abyss. abyss. Yeah. <laughs> and there, one more thing that he planted in my head, I'm gonna let you do it because it's it's his idea. It's not my idea. I, I bet you all of you see this. Probably. Are going to be like, but hey, you, you, you're you posting this on a Saturday? Yeah, fuck out of here. Um, but <laughs> he, I didn't think about it. And then when he said it, I was like, it makes sense. I'm putting two and two together now. Go ahead, David. Who's giving intel to Cersei from Daenerys' camp? We got a snitch. I think we got a snitch. Maybe. We don't know for sure, but. We might have a snitch. But, I mean. Who really, is there's it? only. We think there's really three options. Three's pushing it. Uh, yeah, you know what? Three. We'll three, go three. That three. Could, I mean, it could be Varys. It could be Tyrion. could be Missandei. Missandei. I mean, uh, I don't see who else would do it. There's nobody but, else I mean, to do it. You see, it's himself. it could be... We're going to have to find out. I mean, maybe we're wrong. and Maybe there's nothing going on. Tell us or, what you think. Yeah. Please. Or who you think it is. Yeah. If there is anything. Or, like I've said before, we're just full of shit. You can tell us that too. Well, don't, don't put me in that. No. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Or tell us he's full of shit. Oh. <laughs> I don't like how this turned. <laughs> and cut. No, yeah, no, it's over, guys. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just, but guys, all in all, like I said, I really love this episode. Great episode. Can't say it's my favorite because obviously it is. <laughs> I mean. Nope, I hated it. You know, yeah, it's fucking so, so, so boring. I only watched it 800 times. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The same night. Uh, no, it's really good episode. I think also visual effects were actually pretty, really good. Excellent. Money well spent. Um, that's, once again, that's why it's the shortest yeah, episode yeah. of the season. And uh, I'm excited to see what else we get because there's so many questions. Oh God! It, that we need answered before the end of the season, and we only got three episodes left. Three episodes. So that means the next three are gonna just. I mean, I don't like topping this. Topping this episode. So there's only one guy that could top this, and he lives way up north. All right, everyone, so we want to hear your thoughts, opinions, likes, dislikes, where you think the show's going. Do you agree with the snitch theory? 
all that down in the comment section because we want to hear your thoughts and we want to kind of discuss and think about it and kind of get your opinions and you might enlighten us so we definitely want to hear that in the comment section don't forget to smash that like button if you like this video and if you enjoyed it smash the subscribe as well subscribe button to see more of us and stay connected and as always you can hit us up on facebook twitter instagram and snapchat those thing three links and snapchat name will be in the description box down below and as always we will see you sunday night